It's, it's something that I think is absolute pivotal to good cinematography and good films, is the use of the frame. A frame cannot just be a representation of just what's in front of you. It's got to have three-dimensionality. It's got to mean much more than what, it, what it's shown. And I think I constantly have to think every time I'm doing a film, so how could I make this image more poetic? How can I say more about the state of, the emotional state of that character in this film? And there's an example in, in an education, for instance. And it's terribly simple, and people just say, oh, well, you know, that's obvious. But it's a young girl, Kerry Mulligan, who's being driven by this man that she doesn't really know. She's 18, he's 30. She doesn't know who he is, particularly. Uh, and, but he's exciting. He's something new. She's come from a very structured background with her parents from the post-war era. And he's driving her in this old Jensen, I think, and the car stops and he gets out of the car and goes across the road and uh, sees this black family across the road. She's observing all this. We could have shot that very conventionally, but what seemed to be more poetic and simple was where really the scenes about her and what she's reflecting on who this person is and what he's doing. And so the next shot is her sitting in her car looking at the scene. And the car window is closed. So it's just a reflection of this black family with him reflecting in the glass, but she is in, in the, just behind it. But you see her clearly enough and you see that she's thinking about, so you're creating a superimposition in reality, in, in the real world of what was happening. And, uh, and then it's just a question of using the focus puller. And I think focus pullers are underestimated in the film, in the film game. They can be incredibly important at uh, knowing when to pull photos. Terribly simple, but there's poetry and it's done in such a simple way. It's not a question of looking in one way, looking back and looking in the other way and looking back. It's all done in one image. So it's concise, but it works in a very, very gentle way. And I think, you know, it, it can happen through the choice of locations, it can be, it can happen through all sorts of things, but it is absolutely important to find ways of actually creating scenes that imply more than the scene itself. You can over-edit films, and often they are over-edited, I think, where you're, you're just, you're telling the audience what you're meant to be thinking about certain things, as opposed to leaving it slightly wider and let the people decide which, are they looking at the reflection in the back or are they looking at the foreground or what exactly, what their emotion is and who are they with. I think uh, that's what I'm implying that, you know, I love doing that. I, you know, that this is something that was in Made in Dagnum, but you know, there are lots of films in which um, I've tried to do that.